Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Story 12 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sync your iPod to any computer without it showing that little sign to delete your stuff and sync to a new computer. This way you'll be able to sync your iPod to any computer, take anything from that computer, and everything will be fine. Okay, there is two things you do have to worry about, though. If you have an iPod Touch or iPhone, you can't sync applications from your iTunes account or any account, so you won't be able to get applications. And if you have an iPod Nano, you won't be able to sync games. So that's it. Alright, with that said, you gotta plug in your iPod to your plug in your iPod to your computer. Open up iTunes. Alright, once iTunes is open, just wait for your iPod to find it. Or for iTunes to find your iPod. Alright, so once you get your iPod in, you just uh, click on your device. I have my sister's iPod here. And you're going to want to restore. Don't worry, you can just get, uh, sync your stuff back. And click on restore. And it's going to start restoring. All right, and I'll say your iPod's been restored to factory settings and restarting, and blah, blah, blah. And then your iPod should uh, just restore. And it'll go back to that screen. All right, so this is the most important part right here. When it says set up your iPod, uh, you're going to put a name. And you're going to make sure to uncheck every single check. So make sure that nothing's automatically. For your iPod Touch, you'll also show, like, uh, applications and and uh, videos. So make sure everything's unchecked. Once you do that, just click Done. And that's it. Now your iPod, you can plug it into any computer, and you'll be able to sync stuff. And, yeah, so never, uh, never, uh, Automatically sync your stuff. I like think music always make sure that's unchecked. And then to get music, just go to your library, uh, click, get all your songs. Make sure it's up here. You can get all your songs and then just drag them to your iPod. And I'll start to download them, as you can see right there. Just downloading them and that's it. I don't have another computer to show you that it works, but believe me, it works. You can just try it on yourself. It won't, like, hurt or anything. So, yeah, that's it. Just plug your iPod. Now you can plug your iPod into any computer, and you can steal their stuff or uh, take it. And that's it. Remember, it only works for music, videos, uh, TV shows, and music videos. It does not work with applications and games. Alright, so thanks for watching my video. Please uh, comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more.